time for the museum uh, going forward and uh, what, what, we can, what we can look forward to coming back here soon for. Well, I think um, first I just want to say um, I'm extremely humbled to be sitting here with Suzanne and Rick, <laughs> honestly. And this place was born out of the activism and advocacy of people like Suzanne and by the commitment of people like Rick. So, um, and this place is very special to me. You know, I was a curator here in the early 2000s under Rick's leadership and very much um, um, indoctrinated into the, the practice of collaboration, consultation, and partnership with indigenous peoples, and really, you know, this this place, that experience, um, grew me into the museum professional um, that I am today, um, and I carry that with me. I mean, it's 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 in here, in this place, and that experience put that in here, and it's never going away. Um, so, in terms of What's new, you know, as, as indigenous people, we carry our, our past into our present, into our future. So as I said, that's in here. And, you know, I, I, I took that experience of my, my early years and, and, and I know that there's other people here at the museum um, that were here in those early years that are still staff today. And they carry that spirit with them as well. And, and I, we just had the most wonderful event last Friday, November 11th, um, the dedication of the National Native American Veterans Memorial. And that spirit of those early years of the opening of this place and on September 21st in 2004, we relived that last Friday. And um, I think that all of those staff that weren't here in 2004, they got that experience of you know what this place means to indigenous people. Um, it was sort of a, I felt like it was a um, it was almost a re yeah, reintroduction of the museum to native people, and it was a very celebratory time. There were lots of smiles and hugs and and a lot of goodwill. I think um, that was that was 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 given. Um, so I say in terms of what the future holds for the museum, um, you know, I think that as we saw in the film, education is a big part of changing people's perceptions about mascots. And, um, you know, under Kevin Dover's leadership, you know, he's, he's the director after, after Rick. Um, and I also had the, the honor of, of um, serving under, um, Kevin's leadership as well. His big initiative was the NK360, Native Knowledge 360, where you know we're trying to get curriculum into schools across America to change people, Amer the American perception about indigenous people. And um, so on our website, we have all kinds of different uh, curriculum, educational resources um, that cover the gamut of of topics, um, and you know, we're going to continue that initiative moving forward, including teacher trainings um, in different parts of the country. Um, we partner with um, tribes in that initiative, um, the Federated, um, um, Federated Tribe of Great Rancheria is one of our, our big supporters, and we, we're doing this whole gold rush um, educational um, module on um, the gold rush. In terms of our exhibitions, of course, you know that's that's a big um, part of what we do at the museum, and endeavor to work in partnership and collaboration with Indigenous people on our exhibitions, um, which is something that we started, of course, with our inaugural exhibitions. And if you have a chance today, we still have one of our inaugural exhibitions. It's up on the fourth floor. It's called Our Universes. And that actually will be coming down soon. Um, but so here's here's your last chance <laughs> to see that. Um, you know, it's, there, there's I'm still pretty early in my leadership. I mean, I just started in February of this year, so you know, I do have. I feel like there's still a lot that I need to sort of experience and understand and learn about um, 
where we were, um, where we have been, um, and then you know paving the way for the future. And of course, it's not just me alone. Um, we have incredible staff here at the museum, and um, they really, really um, brought all they could to last this past Friday and over the weekend to, <coughs> to host all of the Native veterans and their families that were that were with us and all the visitors that came to cheer on the Native, cheer on the Native veterans. So um, again, it's not my job alone, and, but I'm certainly looking forward to, to the future and appreciate the fact that I've had people like Rick and Suzanne and Kevin um, to, to be role models, you know, because that's, that's definitely important to us as Indigenous people, all people, to have someone who you can, you can see yourself in them. And I have to say, you know, when I was an a, a emerging curator, and to see Rick as the director of the National Museum of the American Indian when I left, I thought, hmm, I could potentially do that someday. And here I am. <laughs>